episode of Super Reaction Bros. I'm Chris. Hi, I'm Chris. And on today's episode, we're taking a look at the official Red Band teaser trailer. Like I told you, you you're, you're no, not the red, not the, not the red. You do stuck to your phone. I told not, you it's not a teaser trailer. Time out, time it's, a trailer. Out. it's a trailer. That's what I said. Quit calling it a teaser. That's what they're calling it. Okay, teaser. okay. Jesus Christ. Mm, fucking hell, man. So, anyways, we're taking a look at a trailer. For yes, a trailer. 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 Okay, we got it. For uh, the the red band trailer for Hitman for Hitman's wife's bodyguard. So of course this is a sequel that I don't think anybody's really expecting for the really fun first film starring Ryan Reynolds and Samuel Jackson, where the whole plot was. Uh, Ryan Reynolds was a former like top level bodyguard. Everyone watch the warning, this is spoilers for you. Spoilers for this, sure. Uh, so if you're watching the trailer for Action for This, you've probably seen the trailer, I mean, at least the trailer for first one, see the film for Anyways, yeah, so basically the first one was pretty much uh, Ryan Reynolds protecting Samuel L. Jackson because Samuel L. Jackson had to testify against Garrett, cynical tyrant Gary Oldman. He has to protect somebody that kind of ruined his career. Yeah. So basically, that went all hunky-dory. They became kind of sort of buddies at the end. Uh, and here we are now to where now he has to protect his wife, Selma Hayek, who was like one of the other best parts. Of yeah, the other best parts of this film. So, so basically, <laughs> joining the cast with them this time is um, Frank Grillo, uh, Morgan Freeman, Tom Hopper from Umbrella Academy, yeah, and Antonio Banderas are joining them this time for basically the plot. Now they have to save Samuel Jackson's wife. Now, <laughs> fun. So let's dive into this for the official Red Band trailer. For Hitman's wife's bodyguard. God damn it, I've seen that five times fast. Uh, so here we go. Everything you know. I'm not telling you. I, on the other hand, will tell you everything. 
<laughs> so in this case, he's trying to stay away from guns compared to the last one. So yeah. basically, the plot is so the plot is, yeah, I think he reconciled with his ex wife and he's trying to live a perfect life. The problem is, he's still plagued by nightmares of Samuel, of uh, uh, Kincaid from the first film. Yeah. And he's plagued by nightmares of us. So they're like, just take a he break. He wants to get away, and just when he thinks he's trying to get away, he's pulled right back into it. By now Kincaid's wife. Yeah, and this time it's like, I like him, he's like, cool. You was like, I'm the wife of the guy you saved. Dude, I forget the last time Antonio Banderas and Selma Hyde were in the same film together. Oh, man. Um, yeah, and then all of a sudden, and not even that, it's when he's like, I, I, I'm not using guns. And he's like, excuse me? You know, it's like, are you serious? Like, so throughout this film, of course, probably not until the end, it's like he said, he's on sabbatical from guns, from using guns. So he's still going to probably be fighting and stuff like that, but it's like, no weapons. So that's how, like, when he says, like, Pepper spray. <laughs> it's like this pop in the head. <laughs> it's like, what is he doing? And I like it too because it's like, it's one of those things for Silent Heights, it's like, you owe me. Because he's like, you saved my husband. You know, now you owe me. You know, you owe me. You know, type of situation. So it's like, oh my god, this is what he thinks he's. Oh, and of course, in the last was it, the first trailer we got from the last movie, was it? Um, we had the bodyguard song pretty much from, you know, the Whitney Houston. This one's just. Britney Spears. Yeah. Hit me, baby, one more time. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's 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 pretty much what it is. It's just, we're trying to have a baby. We're trying to have a baby. Even Kincaid's like, what? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe you would make an excellent, excellent host. host. <laughs> Not a mother. An excellent host for this child. <laughs> this looks fun. It's about, it looks like about as over the top as the first film was. So probably definitely something worth checking out. In the <laughs> You're gonna tell us everything. I'm telling you shit. <laughs> All right, your turn. Okay. I'm gonna tell you everything. I, 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 I'm, I'm gonna, gonna tell you everything. <laughs> so, other than that, folks, if you're new to the channel, you can hit the like button. If you want to talk to us more about stuff like this, comment down below. If you want to share us around, share it around. <laughs> and if you like us just a little bit more than anybody else, when it comes to talking oh, about man. the Hitman's Wife's Bodyguard, hit the subscribe button down below. Hit the bell icon as well. This is one of those films that just, you know, it's like, even if it didn't have, even if it didn't have the sequel, the first, you know, the movie, the, you know, the original movie is still like, okay, it's just awesome. Yeah. You know, like, I think perfect example is like uh, that one movie, The Nice Guys, because everybody wanted a sequel for that film, but that didn't happen. But still, the film itself was good. Yeah. Because it's like the concept they went behind it. And here, like I said, they're, they're like, okay, the movie did well the first time. So let's, let's try it. Let's do it again. But this time it's. You know, just do it with the wife. It's just have fun with it and do it with Tama Hayek. You know, but it's like, let's go a little bit crazier and things like that. Because, um, like I said, uh, when, I, when me and my wife watched it and stuff like that, we enjoyed it. It was like, like we said before, it's when you shut off your brain and you just have a fun time, it's a popcorn flick, and that's what this is. And uh, this, I honestly, I can't wait. You know, I'm like, there are times when he can't go wrong with Ryan Reynolds sometimes because yeah. he does a great job of just the type of humor he dives into, where it's just like, what the hell is this man thinking? But let us know what you guys thought of this trailer overall. Um, uh, put down what you thought of our reaction as well to it. Are you excited for this one? Or are you still like, nah, I'd rather pass. I still like the first one. That's it. Or are you just, like I said, you just, you're just you super psyched because you can't wait to see how this one goes and see what happens next. Uh, put down what you thought of our reaction overall. But most importantly, thank you for watching. So until next time, folks, I'm Chris. And I'm Christopher. And this has been a very Britney and Phil episode of SRB. I'm Britney, bitch. I, I, I don't want to say that for sure. See ya! Later. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you want to check out our previous reactions, or any one of our other SRB shows, check out one of our playlists down below. If you want to check us out in the social universe, you can find us on Twitter and Stardust at Super React Bros.